Welcome back to the Inner Peace Workshop. This is episode six, Mindfulness Practice Three, a focus on walking. I hope that uh, you've had an opportunity now that you're halfway through the workshop um, to really start to see the benefits of practicing mindfulness and hopefully in your classroom and the way you're ap approaching your job is, is shifting a little bit and, and that the, the, the practice of mindfulness is providing you a little more resiliency and maybe some assistance in, in, in de-stressing a little bit and, um, and approaching uh, your teaching a little more mindfully. In this particular episode, we're going to be talking about our third uh, mindfulness practice. We, we've done a focus on the breath. We've done that mindful body scan, so we focused on the body. And now we're going to actually be active a little bit and, uh, and walk and try to do uh, a walk mindfully. Now, uh, this episode is going to be a little bit different. What you're going to want to do is uh, below the video, there's going to be a link to an MP3. And you're going to want to download that MP3 to your iPhone or your mobile device and, uh, and then listen to that as you go for a walk. So take, um, go ahead and download that, that video. There should be a, um, that audio clip. There should be a link to that below this video. Download the MP3 and then listen to that on your walk. Now I'm going to introduce uh, the concept to you here on the video and then I'll sort of uh, r remind you of, of these things as we begin the walk um, in the audio clip. And basically what we're wanting to do is we're going to take a walk and as we take a walk we're going to ap uh, apply some, some mindfulness uh, approaches to that walk. So a lot, and, uh, this contrasts with how we take walks normally. So normally when I go out for a walk, you know, when I'm not practicing mindfulness, I think about some of the problems that I've had throughout the day maybe some problems that I'm working on, things that I'm worried about maybe in the future. And a lot of times I, I go on an entire walk and never even really notice what's going on around me, don't notice what I'm doing, and just kind of go mindlessly through the walk thinking about um, a variety of different things that are, have been weighing on my mind. And I get the exercise and I get the benefit and, and, and sometimes it's helpful to think about things and kind of clear your mind and, th and think through things like that. But with mindful walking, what we're going to try to do is the way we, we focus on our breath and that mindful breathing technique to sort of help um, settle our thoughts down and, and, and settle ourselves down and center ourselves. We can kind of do that same type of thing when we're walking, but instead of focusing on our breath, we're going to focus on our steps. We're going to focus on the lifting of the foot and the setting down of the foot and the lifting of the foot and the setting down of the foot. And so you're, you're, instead of focusing on each breath, you're going to focus on each step that you take. And one of the things I want to make sure that we're, we, we talk about before you try mindful walking is that obviously it's very important to do it in, 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 in safe conditions. If you're going out at night, make sure you uh, have reflective clothing or clothing where traffic, uh, uh, people in cars can see you. Um, make sure that you're always doing this um, under safe conditions. Uh, also, I want to, it would be important for me to note that um, if you haven't started a regular exercise program already, that you maybe consult with your doctor to ensure that uh, going on walks is, is going to be safe for you in terms of your health. So I just want to make sure, encourage you to, to, to get a checkup if you haven't done that in a while and make sure you consult with a doctor if you ever have, if you have any questions about uh, your ability to, to go and take a walk. But if you think you're okay and you're ready to, to move forward with it, um, uh, just again download that mp3 and, uh, and, and go ahead and take your walk and listen to that mp3 as you go on your walk. Now the other thing that you can do when you go on this mindful walk is not just pay attention to your steps, but another thing you can do is pay attention to what you see and what you hear in, in the here and now. So as you're walking um, uh, down the street or wherever you're walking, look around you and notice everything and stay present in the moment. In other words, if you see a bird, really notice the bird and look at the bird and look at the size, the shape, the color, and then listen to the sounds maybe that the bird makes. And the other component is try not to have any judgment. So if it's very hot outside and you keep noticing that you're telling yourself, man, it's really hot, man, it's really hot. Try to settle that down and shift your focus back onto the present moment. And it's certainly okay to notice the heat, but instead of saying, oh, it's really hot or man, it's so cold out here. So I just, I, I, I can't wait to get back inside. Instead of shift, instead of thinking about it that way and judging the moment, whether it's good or bad, 
Um, just try to be present for it and just notice what's going on. Be aware of what's going on in terms of sounds and sights. And you'll notice that after you take that walk, it's, 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 a, it's a type of meditation. It's, a, it's almost like a walk. It's a walking meditation. And, and, and you'll notice that when you come back, it'll provide some of, the, some of the same type of benefits that our sitting meditation provides us. So without further ado, go ahead and, and, and get out of this video. Download that audio and enjoy your mindful walk and we'll see you after the walk. Well, I hope you enjoyed your mindful walk. It's uh, always refreshing for me to go out and take a walk and instead of thinking over all my problems and, and, and different things going on in my head to sort of let that go for a little bit and just observe the world around me or just focus on the steps that I'm taking. It's always a, a relaxing practice. Um, uh, this week, of course, uh, there is a handout below for episode six. Just click that link and it'll pull that up and you can print it out if you'd like to or just read it. There are reflection questions, a journal entry, and your homework, which is to engage in this uh, mindful walking practice for 10 minutes each day and you can do longer if you'd like to go and take a 20 or 30 minute walk you certainly are welcome to do that if you're physically able and i want to again uh, caution you that if uh, you think there's any question about not being able to handle that physically that you consult with a doctor and of course always do it safely especially if it's at nighttime just be very careful when you go out to walk sometimes if we're really really mindful and we're observing hopefully we're going to it, hopefully it's going to be a safer walk than if we were you know in our own heads but just, just be careful, please, and um, I hope that uh, you'll also incorporate 10 minutes of the mindful breathing or uh, the mindful body scan each day as well. And again, if you can only fit a few minutes in each day, just make it a daily habit to do some type of mindfulness practice because it's an important part of your mental hygiene. Um, and you know, we, we brush our teeth twice a day. Uh, we can do this type of practice once or twice a day and take care of our, our, our minds as well. You can contact me with any questions or comments at toddshoal at gmail.com and I invite you to visit the website that I've created that's dedicated to mindfulness and education at theinnerpeace.weebly.com. Until next week uh, in episode 7 where we're going to talk about mindfulness and relationships, I wish you a mindful week, a great week, and we'll see you next week on the Inner Peace Workshop. <laughs>